Welcome back. Today we're going to show you the latest settings, the updated version of what you need to turn off immediately straight away on your Fire Stick. Whether you're new to Fire Sticks or you've been using it a long time, these settings will help your Fire Stick run better, smoother, possibly help reduce buffering, plus stop any tracking from Amazon knowing what you are doing on your device. So it's extremely important to do it. I'm going to go slow. First thing we'd like you to do if you can, do drop underneath, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and help us out with a share, because more people who do this, the better they will get on with it. And we've got everything else on the channel for you, so do check it out. So, some of the settings we're going to do. This is all on the latest updated Fire Stick user interface. So what we need to do is get across to the settings tab, which is above my head now. It used to be on the top of the screen. It's now right over here. Boom, the cog icon at the end, we're going to go into settings. From here, it's important, first of all, we go into preferences. And there's quite a few things in here to turn off. I've turned all mine back on for demonstration purposes now. Obviously, you have your parental controls. If you're interested in that and you need parental controls because of obviously having kids at home, then go in there, put your codes on, everything like that. This isn't something I'm going to be turning on. And it's not important to the video. But what is... Privacy settings is extremely important. Okay, so in here, first of all, we've got device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system on this device for marketing and product improvements purposes. So they want, they want to use whatever you're doing. Amazon want to track, manage, and record what you are doing so they can market to you. Eh, we're going to turn that straight off. Ignore the pop-up, just click turn off. Collect app usage data. Allow App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. So they want to know what you're doing on your apps, what you're watching on your apps, how long you're on an app for. Again, so they can mark it to you. Off. Turn off, guys. Having that one off. Interest-based ads. Allow apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show interest-based adverts that display products and services that you might be interested in. No thank you. Again, they're going to have to monitor you to find out what you may be interested in so they can add to you. So if you turn that off as well, once that's done, the bit, the ID under the bottom is all gone. Beautiful. Privacy locked down. Data monitoring. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Okay, so this one, a little bit different. They want to monitor how much data you're using. So on that aspect, they will know if you are connecting to a lot of movies, things like that. But it's not the end of the world because it is a streaming device. This one may be useful if you have, say, limits on how much data you're allowed to use on your internet. Most of us don't, but some countries, some states do. So if you need that, you can leave it on. And obviously, you can change your video quality to lower if you didn't want to use up too much data at once. You can obviously set an alert, so if you're hitting too much data on your Fire Stick. And obviously, the monthly top-up. For me, I don't want anything like this running in the background monitoring. Anything monitoring is using up computer power, CPU. Okay, RAM is using, is running, it has to run to monitor. So to do that, if you can turn it off, turn it off. Notification settings. Again, not the most annoying, well, they, they, they don't pop up like they do on a phone, but if you turn do not interrupt to on, you will not get any notifications from any of your apps, guys, okay? Simple as. Featured content. This is a bugbear of mine. This is allow video autoplay and al allow audio autoplay. This is content which will, like an advert, which could freeze up your device. So for instance, on your home screen here, when you have this advertisement at the top, it turns into a video like that, which is a pain in the butt and it comes on very loud and it is just using resources in the background which you don't need, which could slow down your device. So in preferences still, featured content, let's turn them both off. Then that advert at the top is just an image, will not turn into a video for you. Okay, apart from that, that's preferences done. My Fire TV, very important. Another perk, guys, didn't tell you. At the end of this video, I'm also going to tell you about a free VPN to help keep your device safe, which you can install directly on the Fire Stick. Okay, you can get this VPN directly on it, and I'll show you at the end of this list. So, once you're in My Fire TV, obviously at the bottom, you've got your tools, sleep, restart, reset to factory defaults. This is very important if your device is just running buggy, slow this will delete everything off start again fresh so if you've installed something you're worried about that's the one to do it obviously only do that if you really need to developer options so adb debugging this is a tricky one you need this to sideload apps on but a lot of 
people will tell you to turn it on and leave it on. It's actually recommended to turn it off because it will stop apps make a connection without your permission. So if you don't need it, turn it off. But you do need it turned on for apps like mouse toggle, things like that. There's a certain apps you have to have it running all the time for. But if you can get away with turning it off, turn it off and then turn it back on every time you install something. Install unknown apps. This is where you just turn on pretty much any app which will do some installing for you. So it shouldn't be turned on for things which don't install. So that can be turned off on that one. Uh, that's a web browser, that's an app store, that's an update. So they can be on for downloader, which we all use, is turned on for. But anything else <clears throat> which shouldn't be installing apps, it is turned off on, okay? Brilliant. Next up, guys, in our settings, we've done my Fire TV. Um, there's not really much you can do with Alexa there. I will show you on a later video <clears throat> how you can delete Alexa's recordings of you. Um, but that's a different video for a later time. So do hit that subscribe button if you want to check that one out. We're going to hit applications. In here, a few little settings you can do just to speed up your device again. Amazon Photos. Um, I turn it off, disabled, and allow guest connections. This, When you allow this, guests may request to connect to your TV using a supported device to cast photos, videos to your screen. If you like it, yes. I don't like it, so I turn it off. Silk Browser. Not much you can do with Silk Browser, really. That is just your internet. Um, it allows just, you know, you can change all your overall settings. Wouldn't worry too much. Game Circle. If you're not gaming on your Fire Stick, which I wouldn't have thought many of you are, Whisper Sync for Games, off. App Store. A few things you can do in here. Automatic updates I like to turn off, personally. Um, so that it doesn't do it in the background when, say, maybe you're watching a film and it starts updating and slows that down. In-app purchases, off. I've got no subscriptions and obviously notifications are off. Apart from that, in here, you can go into your applications. It's actually really important that you keep yourself about one gigabyte of storage. I'm actually a bit over on mine, what I normally have. But if you keep one gigabyte spare at this point, because you need a certain amount of storage to download some of the movie you are watching, classed as that buffer. So if you've got nothing left is when your videos may buffer a bit more. So you can come in here if you want to. You can either delete apps if you need to. If there's anything you want to delete, you can just click on them and delete them. So click on one, click uninstall, uninstall. Boom, gone. St clears up a bit of space on your device. Once you've done that, in here you can also use this area to clear your cache. So if you've got any apps that you want to clear up some space on, might have a large cache, you can clear cache as well. Just by clicking on an app, clear cache. If you clear data, it will clear everything within your app. Not the movies as such, but it will clear any logins or anything like that. So be very careful on that one. Right. That is all the ones on there, guys, for you. What I'm going to quickly show you is a free VPN as well. There's a VPN floating around the Amazon App Store called Award VPN. I've been testing it, and it runs very well. So if you go to search, type in Award, A-W-A-R-D. If you search that, it will be there, Award VPN. You can click it and install it for free. I've opened mine in here. You can connect to multiple different servers, which are all free servers, okay, very easily. And it costs 50 points, which you'll see in the top corner, per connection, okay? So every six hours, it takes another 50 points off you. And to get points, you just have to watch some adverts, guys, okay, or check in every day. So it's very simple, very easy to use, and it's 100% free at the moment. We've scanned it with all any virus checkers, all 100% clear. Very nice little app, has some settings and works extremely well. I will link that under this video as well because it's also in the Google Play Store. So if anyone wants it on your mobile phones, it works on all Android TV devices and Amazon devices and mobile phones. So I'll link it underneath and I'll link their Twitter for you as well if you wanted to stay up to date with what they're doing. Because I know a lot of you like a good free VPN, so why not? Well, what a video, guys. Remember, if you like that and it's helped you at all, hit subscribe. I know some of you would know this already because we've covered it before, but we needed an update version. Over the Christmas period, lots of new people get Fire Sticks and Fire TV, so it's very important to get them out there. Hit the share, hit the subscribe, check out the rest of the channel. I've been Doc Squiffy on the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.